You know, Rick uh, brings a, a, a number of talents uh, to the affordable housing equation, uh, but uh, a good part of it is his personality and his convincing way. Uh, he, he can get people to do things that they at first don't think is in their best interest. He can convince them that ultimately it is, uh, and that's one of the reasons that we have as much affordable housing in Stanford as we have. He really acts as a go-between and helps communication go on between the private sector, investors, who are doing private developments, the nonprofits, and the public sector. And without somebody like Rick Redness there, who can, has credibility with all of those groups, it would be almost impossible to do some of the things that Stanford has accomplished, as well as uh, uh, what NNI has accomplished here in Stanford. He's always come through uh, as, a, uh, as a champion, as a uh, very passionate advocate, and then ultimately as an accomplished professional. Uh, putting together a variety of redevelopment properties where we've taken older public housing developments, Southfield Village, Fairfield Court, and then Vital Court, and turned them into a wonderful, uh, sustainable, mixed income communities that have given back uh, tremendous life to the neighborhoods that they've uh, been around. The work that he's doing in Westport, Darien, and other communities in Fairfield County, behind the scenes, working with nonprofits and working with local zoning boards, has been absolutely critical. Rick's ability to relate to the town officials, his intimate knowledge of the planning and zoning regulations in Westport, his relationships with the, both the elected commissioners and the town employees has been fantastic in making things happen. He is a creative and synthetic mind. It came up with the groundwork that enabled us to um, to eventually produce six units of supportive housing. No city in the state's done as much to build affordable housing and replace uh, existing uh, stock uh, than the city of Stanford. One of the champions of getting that done uh, has been Rick Redness. Um, he's kind of shown a way to private uh, developers on how to uh, maximize the city's uh, density adjustments. Uh, he's demonstrated his own commitment time and time again to affordable housing. He's worked so well with myself and with uh, people in the city uh, uh, to make sure uh, that uh, affordable housing is coming online in a, in a timely fashion so that the people who uh, work in Stanford have the right to live in Stanford. Today I'm standing in front of New Neighborhoods, Franklin Place. Marjorie came from Friendship House. Her family's in Stanford. Children are in school in Stanford. Her job is in Stanford. She goes to school in Stanford. And moving to Bridgeport or somewhere else that was more affordable was just not an option. And this came, it was her dream come true. She won the lottery. She has her own place and now she walks to Yukon to take her classes. To keep people in our community that belong in our community, that are contributors to our community, to give them housing opportunities. Uh, we never forget that there are real people behind all of the efforts that go into it. We never forget that it, it, does, it does take a village, it's corny, but it does take a village and we're proud to be a part of that.